Well, good morning, guys. It is Wednesday morning, and it's March the 13th. And if you follow me on Instagram, you will know that I reached a huge milestone last night. And I'm excited. <laughs> So last night, I reached the milestone of 1,000 subscribers on YouTube, and no thanks to you. It's been a huge hurdle. I wouldn't say it's been a huge hurdle. It's been a fun hurdle to try and get over that hump. And uh, we did it last night, and I went to bed with about 103 subscribers. And as we move forward into this video, there's a few people that I really need to thank that helped me get there so as some of you may know and as most of you may know as a Christian man I would be remiss if I didn't thank God for the success that I've had with this channel and the uh, strength that he's given me to uh, you know move forward and make this a huge success so I couldn't have done it without his help and then there is my buddy Steve Steve Freeman has a YouTube channel called Send It Steve, and if you guys watch me, you probably know who he is, and you probably watch him as well. Over a year ago, I started watching Steve's channel when he had almost 4,000 subscribers, and I think last time I checked, he's pushing 50K. So there's proof that in a year, he's gone from where he was to where he is now, but it was the inspiration of him that has led me to start doing what I'm doing now. So thank you, Steve. And then once I started combing the YouTube community, I came across a channel uh, that is totally unrelated to anything that I do or anything that I would support necessarily or anything that I would even follow if it weren't for the fact that Jeremy over at Blue Collar Dippers caught my eye. Jeremy is one crazy son of a gun and he does some pretty weird stuff on his channel called Blue Collar Dippers and I'm gonna put that, uh, his name right here so you guys can take a look at that as well as a link in the description of everybody that I'm talking about today. Jeremy's channel, him and I started pretty much on the same wavelength. He was growing a lot faster than I was. Um, we, we really couldn't connect as a couple of guys who could work together, but we supported each other. And it was with the help of Jeremy uh, that made me want to push on even further from where I was. So thank you, Jeremy, and your wife, Lakin, uh, for all your support and all your, uh, you know, energy and, uh, and fun videos to watch. Thank you guys. And I know that I'm not going to be able to get everybody with all of these thanks. I'm just highlighting some of the uh, ones who have put a lot of effort into helping me grow. There's been a ton of regular viewers as well who have channels and there's no other bigger channel to me than my buddy Grant Tommy. And Grant and I have been uh, friends on uh, YouTube for quite a while now. We've been following each other, we've been supporting each other, and we've even got ourselves a live feed on Thursday evenings that uh, we co-host. And we use that live feed not just to help us grow, but to help other automotive YouTubers grow. And I'm gonna put Link right here in the cards so you can go over and check out his channel and make sure you subscribe to him because he is chasing that thousand subscriber goal as well. It doesn't matter where you start, it doesn't matter even where you finish. It's how you get there. And I attribute a lot of the growth to my channel to guys like Grant who have uh, really uh, jumped on board with this whole growth process and making it work, not just for him and not being selfish, but making it work for both of us. And we're trying to grab a few other guys and get them there as well because they're ever so close to that 1,000 subscriber goal. And along came Josh Schneider. So Josh Schneider has a YouTube channel called Schneidertron 3000. And back about a month and a half, maybe two months ago, uh, Josh gave a, a huge shout out to myself and Grant in our, in our live stream. And with a channel that has approximately 21, maybe 22,000 subscribers by now, that had a huge impact on our subscriber base because each of us grew quite significantly over that shout out. And I've been watching Josh for, a, for quite a while, probably since like summertime last year. And you know, his channel is, uh, 
it's informative, it's a do-it-yourself type mechanics guy, handyman project guy uh, with him and his dad. Uh, so it's great to see the two of them working together and their antics, they're just hilarious to watch. Rather vulgar by times, uh, but if you can get past that, it's uh, it can be quite entertaining. So. Um, again, if you haven't checked out Snydertron 3000, I'll encourage you to go over to him. And Josh, thank you so much once again for the shout out uh, for our live stream that has helped us so much. And then along came Rust Belt Mechanic. Rust Belt Mechanic is another YouTuber who has a, a big channel, a bigger than mine. And uh, he gave me a shout out on one of his videos, which led even more people to my channel to subscribe. And when they came, I knew they were coming from him because they told me so. So thank you so much for Russ Belt Mechanic and his group of followers for heading over my way and making sure that they're hitting that subscribe button and, and, uh, and building that base once more. And so the subscriber count's going up, the, the views are going up, and I can't thank you enough for the shout out because I certainly wouldn't be here now where I am uh, without that extra little push. So thank you very much to Rust Belt Mechanic. And then along came Nick's Garage. I've been following Nick's Garage for a long time. Why? Because he's a gearhead and he's into Mopars. So that's what hauled me in when I started searching one day back, I think it was uh, in September after I had my, my Chrysler Cordoba on the dyno at Rockwood Park at a car show last year that I wanted to find out more information about dynos and dyno poles. And so Nick operates a dyno, an engine dyno in his shop. So that's what kind of got me hooked. And I've been following him ever since. When the quest for a set of heads came for my car, my small block 360 in my Chrysler Cordoba, then my first choice was to reach out to Nick to see if he had any or knew where I could get some. And it was that conversation that led to me making a trip from St. Stephen, New Brunswick to Laval, Quebec, seven and a half hours to pick up these heads. And yes, of course, I brought my camera along. While I was there, George, who is his camera guy for his channel, made it a point to make me feel 100% at home and included me in Nick's video. And because of that shout out, I received the biggest subscriber jump that I had ever received in a two day period. When Nick's video went live on Monday, I was at 784 subscribers. And as you know today, I am at 1000. So there's been a huge jump there with thanks to Nick and George at Nick's Garage. And, uh, and all their staff who have subscribed to my channel as well. I really appreciate it. And uh, it's not the last trip that I'll make to Nick's Garage, I can guarantee you that. And hopefully there'll be more collaboration uh, in, in the near future. So thank you, Nick and George, and all you guys up there at Nick's Garage. And uh, I hope that you're gonna be uh, watching, and I hope that you won't be disappointed in some of the new stuff that's coming to the channel. And last but not least, before we get too far into the uh, rest of this day, I wanted to make sure once again that I thank you guys, my, uh, my faithful subscribers, and you know who you are. You're commenting on every video. You're interacting with me on Instagram and on Facebook, and you have supported me, most of you, right from the very beginning. And I don't want to start naming names because there's so many of you, I don't want to forget anybody. So guys, continue to support the channel and there are several ways that you can do that one of them is just simply keep watching please interact with me comment down below on any um, videos that you like even if you don't like them tell me what you don't like i'm i'm okay with that just please keep it clean and keep it respectful because we don't need haters there's enough of those people in the world i don't want this channel to be propagating any of that so also, down in the description box below, there are four links. I'm not going to go through them all, uh, but I encourage you to check those out. Those are other ways that you can help support my channel. The first one being bonfire.com, where you can get your very own old car auto guy t-shirt and or hoodie. Please, 
That's one thing that I wish that you would do is go in there, sport some old car auto guy merch and show it by taking a picture and tagging OCAG, hashtag OCAG on Instagram and uh, show everybody that you love old car auto guy. Guys, that is going to wrap up this 1000 subscriber thank you episode of Old Car Auto Guy. This is a special upload because it's going up on the same day that I'm recording it. And uh, so thank you so much. March the 13th is going to be a date that I will remember for a long time. If it wasn't for you guys, I certainly wouldn't be here and I certainly wouldn't continue making these videos for you to watch if I didn't think you were watching. So guys, you all know how I end every video. So say it with me. Stay focused on the windshield, not the rear view mirror. Guys, I love you. God bless. We'll see you again real soon.